everybody. Before we get into this morning's update, I want to go over a quick synopsis of what's transpiring in the market so far. First, we've got XRP just below 63 cents at the 6278 level. We had a Dragonfly Doji in yesterday's daily. So today, we're trying to either get a confirmation of a breakout or a breakdown. If XRP breaks below the 624 level, it's like 6238, that would put in a bearish bias on this daily candle. Conversely, we need to get up over 644 to put in a bullish angle or a bullish push off of this Dragonfly Doji. So we'll pay attention to this. We also had a price glitch on Gemini a few hours ago. Where, as we know, it's being relisted on Gemini. The price for XRP went up to $50 on Gemini, so that's pretty interesting. So we'll take a look at that glitch as well as I'll read what's going on there. And then um, we need to take a look at, obviously, XRP on the technical analysis side to see if we're going to come down any farther and if we're actually going to break that 624 low on the Dragonfly Doji from yesterday's daily candle. Today we've gone down to about 627 at the swing low approximately. So we'll take a look at what's going to transpire now. We'll take a look at the volume profile as well to see if this can sustain a push up or if it's leaning more towards a breakdown here. Make sure you hit that like button as it will greatly, greatly help push me through the analytics. And remember, it's our job today to choose positivity over negativity. If we start positive, we will make an emotionless decision and we'll be able to watch the charts as XRP presents them to us with an educated and informed decision, not an emotional response, but we'll get the charts and the news as a whole to unify a basis for our decision for XRP's price action. And we're the winners here. We play the winners, not the victims. And playing the winner, you have to have all the information so you can make an educated and informed decision. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 8.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, August 11th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So right now, XRP, just a quick look here. In the daily time frame, this is a Dragonfly Doji right here. This signifies a possible trend re reversal, but you need to get validation. Now, right now... If you come below the 623 approximately, that's a very bearish signal on this daily candle. Conversely, if you break up over 644, as we were saying yesterday, that would be a bullish breakout attempt here. The higher, the better, the lower, the worse. So basically this morning, are we going to have enough steam to be able to break out or does this continue motion, uh, moving forward as we slowly but surely broke down a little bit earlier, got down to about 626, but now we're back over 63 cents. As we talked about yesterday, this is going to be a very slow candle either way. But right now, it's it's almost essentially squeezing itself. It could have turned into, and it hasn't yet. But this is a long leg doji, and that's a very indecisive candle movement. So we'll see what happens here. It looks like we're trying to trend reverse here, but if we do break down and we were to lose the 613 and use that as a resistance, remember, that would probably bring us down to 585. It would at least bring us down to 597. So we need to pay attention to that if we were to get a harsh reversal here. In the four hourly, we've got a long leg doji here in the four hourly, which is a reversal, or it's an indecisive candle move. So this is looking uh, this is looking interesting here. It looks indecisive, very indecisive in the pattern movement this morning. Um, we could actually, we had it out yesterday during the live. I could bring it back out, the uptrend that's been formed even though it's not really much of an uptrend because it's on the downtrending. It's trying to hold the support on the falling channel, which we've determined that that's what happened in the daily and it kept using this as support. Now we're trying to hold this as support on the breakout, but we were unable to hold 641 and that's a problem. The fact we're getting rejected by the two hourly really right now, we need to get above that as well. It could very easily pull up now because we have an indecisive candle on the breakdown. So we'll see, we'll see. But that's a long way doji in the two hours, so that shows indecisiveness on the breakdown here. So we'll see what happens. Um, the volume portfolio is not looking great. We only have two days and 11 hours left 
on the weekly time frame. And right now, as we can see, that cup and handle is formed. We're trying to put that bullish handle on the cup. We came down to that 597 for liquidity. And now if you look at it, on the major breakup, we had 518 million in the weekly, broke down to 312, then 166. Then we had 165 last week. This week we've got 107 and there's only two days and 11 hours. So again, on this breakdown candle, it's a very weak volume portfolio compared to the breakup. So there's not as many sellers as buyers. So that could mean that the sellers are being exhausted here. We have to pay very close attention. So I'm looking for that first sign that we're reversing course here. And the first sign would be to break over that 633 and get over the top of this two hour. And all time frames we're starting to set up with the EMA lines where it's starting to spread out. The four hourly though, if you're asking me if this is a traditional play and it's not gonna re um, invalidate the death cross, if this doesn't revalidate it and we keep getting rejected by the four hourly as we talked last night, this very well could be a signal to drop us down to 6130 and then ultimately down to those lower lows at 586 from the swing low so far. So that's what we're watching out for. Remember, we have this W reversal. It very well could be lining up for an inverted head and shoulders. If it drops down to 613 and holds, you could say that put in an inverted right shoulder in the short term. But you could also say boom, head, back up, trying to create an arm. So we'll see how this plays out. First sign that we're probably losing this is if, like we talked about yesterday, if we take this wick or the candle body and come through, I mean, that's slightly, that's essentially the uptrend that you're trying to create here. I don't like to keep it up there, but that's, that's how crucial this level is right now. So really, you don't need to put anything out there for any kind of shadow. You just look at the daily. And if you're going short, you'd put your stop loss up here above the Dragonfly Doji at 644. And if you're going long, you'd put your stop loss under 624 or 623, I mean, which is the bottom shadowing of that Dragonfly Doji. So that's how you would play this pattern right now. It's a very indecisive spot in the pattern. We did have a very bearish cycle, but then it started breaking out. And now we're kind of very indecisive here. So which way will we break out? Will the bull start to support us? Or will 641 end up being our resistance and force us back down to 613? That's what we're waiting for this morning. Nothing more I can really show you in the 30 minute. We're getting rejected still on the 30 minute. We tried to pull up overnight, but we just haven't had enough pressure. So we're gonna have to pay very close attention and we do not wanna lose 624 or 623 area. If we lose that, we invalidate the Dragonfly Doji and it goes bearish. So, and if it breaks above the 644, we will validate it and allow somewhat of a bullish momentum here. So that's what we're looking at for XRP charts. And then I wanna talk about what happened on Gemini. So Gemini relist XRP trading and expand support to XRP ledger. Price glitch shows XRP going to $50. So Gemini Realist XRP on its platform while mocking the SEC and Chairman Gary Gensler in a teaser video. Amid some glitch on Gemini, the XRP price was trading at $50 within hours of listings. On Thursday, August 10th, crypto exchange Gemini ended the delay by relisting XRP Ripple cryptocurrency on its platform. Currently, Gemini offers XRP trading to users against the fiat pairs of USD, GBP, and Euro. Furthermore, the platform also declared it's back for XRP Ledger blocks and making the Gemini API slash FIX and Active Trader apps accessible for trading XRP USD pairs. Crypto Exchange Gemini noted, adding XRP Ledger to our list of supported crypto networks is an important step down our mission to unlock the next era of financial, creative, and personal freedom. Interestingly, Gemini made the official announcement on Twitter in a video accompanying the tweet, wherein it mocks the US SEC and its chief Gary Gensler. So let's watch this real quick. After we finish reading this, Actually, you know what? We'll play this and then we'll go into the $50 price glitch. Well, that's what we do. We fight. What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? Well, I just never know what we might do, so. So that's Gemini, and then we see the humorous portrayal. So my favorite image of all the Earth is a security on XRP with the Earth. Um, so now the XRP price shows $50 on Gemini. Interestingly, soon after the listing of XRP, there's been a massive price fluctuation spotted in cryptocurrencies pricing trading on Gemini. Several crypto community members posted screenshots of what appears to be a price glitch on the crypto exchange Gemini. Some users reported the XRP price to be as high as $50. 
While on platforms, the XRP price was actually trading around 63 cents. Nonetheless, certain analysts stated that this could stem from a shortfall in the short book and limited market activity, especially considering the recent addition to the listings. One observer in particular recounted witnessing a sell order placing at 50, hinting that a possible fat finger occurrence involving a market order at the value could be at play. Meanwhile, as of August 11th at 1.25 a.m. UTC, Gemini declared complete site maintenance for its platform. We are currently performing maintenance on the Gemini platform and all services are currently unavailable. <laughs> all customer assets and fund remain secure. We will provide updates here once we have more information to be shared. So see, that's that's already a red flag for me. You're already gonna have maintenance right when XRP gets relisted. Uh, unlike Kraken and Coinbase, the XRP listing on Gemini didn't have much impact on its price. XRP holds the position of the fifth largest digital asset, boasting a market capitalization of 33.2 billion Ripple Labs. The entity responsible for XRP initiated its creation to facilitate rapid and low-cost money transfers for financial institutions and banks. In 2020, Ripple faced a legal challenge when the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SC filed a $1.3 billion lawsuit asserting that the company had deceived investors and sold XRP in the form of unregistered securities. However, in a recent partial ruling, a federal district judge indicated that sales of XRP to retail investors through program means were not to be classified as securities. Make sure you hit that like button if you got anything out of this update. And if you appreciate my content, hit that subscribe button. If you're looking to trade XRP, in the video description below, there's um, FEMX. You don't need to use a KYC if you don't want to, and you don't need a VPN in the USA or anywhere. So I advise you to use sites that you don't need a VPN and they have the lowest marker and the maker spot fee. So you get a lot cheaper than Uphold, but you can send it to Uphold to your wallet. I just give you options to where you can get it the cheapest possible for you to buy. Make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to Tom's Army, and I will catch you on a future update. Stay blessed, everybody, and remember, mind over matter.